hello 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 everybody welcome back to my channel i hope everybody had a happy holiday happy new year happy everything so i'm here with a new video an after dark queen with me i hope you guys really enjoy this video so it is after a three day long weekend so my house is a disaster i hope you guys really enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because the boys were home and it wasn't their bedtime I did have them help me a little bit with the cleaning unfortunately sometimes I feel that I waste more time telling them what to do and how to do things but I know as adults and I know as a mom we supposed to show them some type of responsibility If you haven't yet, feel free to go to my page. I actually changed up the banner and it looks amazing. I'm absolutely in love with it. Go check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, I don't do this every single night, but because of the holidays, I did host New Year's Eve in my house, and I had not had the chance to go ahead and vacuum my couches. They had confetti everywhere. <laughs> See what I mean? That's what it looks like when you're actually cleaning with your child at home. I know that in my previous video I said that I wanted to go ahead and post more videos this year. Unfortunately, I haven't found a schedule that actually fits and works with my 9 to 5 and then with the kids at home and then editing and doing the voiceover. It's a lot of work, but I'm really trying guys. I'm really am. This is what I like to call my junk drawer, guys. I know you guys have one or two in your house, so please let me know if you guys do.
And if you're not yet following me on Instagram, you guys should definitely go ahead and check my Instagram out. It is underscore MarleniXO. I post there daily, guys. I post my fitness, yoga, my daily life. So go ahead and check it out. Let me know if you guys are enjoying seeing the boys helping me out in this video and also let me know what kind of chores do you give your kids and how old are your kids? Do you ever go back and redo your kids chore because they didn't do the job the way you were expecting them to do or do you end up finishing the job for them because Devin in this case ended up not finishing taking everything out of the dishwasher for instance and then every single morning when I tell Louis to make his bed after he's in school I go back to his room and remake his bed because I mean come on how well can a six-year-old make his bed If you guys have not noticed yet, I am still in the middle of renovating my house. I actually do not have a pantry yet, so my garage is filled, completely filled with food and with items that still belong in our kitchen. One of my wall is still not painted, and most of my outlets are still naked, if that's how you call it, I guess. Ajax to go ahead and shine my steel and steel sink. If you guys have any other advice or alternative, uh, a healthier alternative in that case, to go ahead and clean my sink up, please do let me know. I'll really appreciate it because I feel like it does leave some streaks and I have to pour a lot of hot water in order for it to actually come out completely.
Since I had the Ajax out, I just ended up using it to clean the stove as well. And to wet it, I ended up using some of my Thieves cleaner. It does a pretty good job cleaning the stove, so I don't have any issues. Of course, I do have stove cleaner, but as I mentioned earlier, because I already had the Ajax out, I ended up using the same product. And as much as I love, love, love my backsplash, I have to constantly go and wipe it down because it gets so filthy. I kept playing around with different angles for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, I believe that in this angle specifically, I should have zoomed out just a bit to go ahead and get more of the kitchen. But the angle itself, I think it's pretty good. I also played around with the music. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Uh, what do you guys enjoy? The more hip hop, lyric kind of music or the more instrumental music? So here I am just filling up one of my Dollar Tree jars with some of the granola bars. If I leave all the granola bar out, you better believe that my kids are going to eat the entire box within an hour. So this is the only way I can actually control that. When I first got this fridge, I was totally in love, in love, in love, especially with the fact that it's supposed to be fingerprint resistant. But with time, I've noticed that there's no such thing as fingerprint resistance. There's fingerprints everywhere. And not only that, I walk around with a 32 ounce water bottle. I don't know if you guys have noticed it in the video, but the water dispenses the water so slow it takes me forever to fill up my water bottle If you want to be on top of yourself and have a spotless kitchen at all times, just go ahead and get yourself some white cabinets because you will notice everything on those cabinets. Even though I am not complaining because I love them and they're so easy to just wipe and clean.
some of you guys will be asking me where I got my bar stools. I actually went on Facebook and got it from the Facebook Marketplace. I got all four guys for only $150. I'm pretty sure one of them alone is about $100. I remember Louis telling me. And I was a little afraid that they were going to get dirty and filthy all the time because they are clear, but they're pretty good on staying clean. I'm pretty shocked and I absolutely love them. I end up using whatever all-purpose cleaner I have in hand this specific night. I ended up using my Method Cleaner. Other nights, I end up using my Thief Cleaners. It does the job. If you have any glass cleaner, go ahead and feel free to use that as well. This is the main entrance. As you can see, it is actually pretty, pretty plain. It's so simple. I am looking for an entry table, but I haven't found one that I'm in love with. Usually when I buy something, it's because I know that I love it and I'm not going to get bored of it by looking at it all the time. I've checked Wayfair, I've checked the Facebook Marketplace, I've checked a million and one websites, but I still haven't found one that I'm in love with. Oh, shopping is so hard sometimes. So I went ahead and got my vacuum again. It had died in the beginning of the video, I don't know if you guys noticed, um, but that's what happens when you forget to charge your cordless vacuum. So here I am, and let me tell you something, I've grown to really dislike this specific vacuum. It doesn't do a pretty good job, it's not strong enough. I've been eyeing one of the Shark, I mean all of the Shark has really pretty good review so I might go ahead and purchase one of the shark vacuums instead I don't have a lot of carpet in my house I just have this area rug for now and I have carpet in the master bedroom and that's about it
when I'm trying to vacuum the powder that was left on the hardwood floor that the vacuum is not going to do a very good job picking it up and if you are wondering what kind of vacuum it is I have the Hoover Fusion so do not get that vacuum I want to believe deep down in my heart that it's because the battery was dying but that's not the case it's just not a really good vacuum if you go to Amazon the reviews are horrendous My dining room area I do have a dining table it is in my garage but I still haven't sent it down and fixed it up yet I also got that on the Facebook marketplace and I absolutely love the table it is such a great quality it is real oak wood I can't wait to show you guys but of course I don't have any chairs for that yet have it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and to like this video ciao until next time